Hi, my name is Julie. I'm an athlete from Norway. I'm 24 years old and I'm staying here now for altitude training in Park City. The climate and the environment is just perfect here. You get dry, warm summers, but not too warm. You get the mountains. I kind of feel like home because uh, we also got the mountains, but we don't get the, get the altitude as you do. And you got so many great trail runs. So it's just incredible. I can just run and run. I also been enjoying a lot the road up to Empire Pass, taking my roller skis there. That's a great workout and you got the view when you come up. You got also a really inspiring environment here. You had the uh, Olympics back in 2002. I actually had some of my team members uh, competing there in the Olympic Games. And at Club Hair, I met some uh, incredible athletes doing lots of different sports. Some of them going to the Summer Olympics now in Rio. So that's uh, really inspiring for me. I worked as an engineer for one year in a medical field, but i also been doing cross-country skiing back in Norway a lot. As you know, it's a big sport in Norway. It's the national sport. But then uh, last year I got the eye for something called obstacle course racing, OCR. You might see in the Ninja Warrior and the Spartan race, it's kind of the same thing. I did some tryouts and I did quite good. I got number five in Copenhagen, competing against 3,000 other girls. And um, then I got approached by several teams. I went with the team Santander, and I was really lucky in getting into that team. They're a big international team, focusing mainly on cross-country skiing. They have one of the world's best cross-country skiers from all around the world. But now they wanted to get more visible both in summer and winter time. So they wanted to expand. And that was a good fit for me because OCR racing is uh, a summer sport, competing in springtime, summer and the fall. It's between 10K and 20K of running. So it's most endurance, like 90% endurance. But then you have between 40 and 80 obstacles. It can be from climbing ropes, deep mud holes, crawling, jumping over big uh, walls, and doing rings, like 60 meters with rings. Carrying stuff, that's the hardest part of me because I'm kind of light. But winter is cross-country skiing. I'm sure you in here in Park City have been doing that because you have the, yeah, it's like the winter paradise here. But um, in Norway, we are so into cross-country skiing, so we want to do it also in the summertime. So that's why we have roller skis. And they work exactly the same as uh, classic uh, cross-country skiing. Something that's a little bit hard with the roller skis is that you can't break the same way as you do in the winter. So they go fast. It's, it's hard to get to a full stop. You have to like lean and push outside. It's a really good workout. You use your whole body. I'm into endurance, but I also like some strength training and you really get that with cross-country skiing. It's just a perfect workout and it's, it's really fun, yeah. My daily workout routine is getting up early and then maybe go for a two, three hour run and then go back home, showering, getting some rest, lots of food and then just getting ready for the next workout in the evening. And that might be then uh, taking my roller skis for uh, climbing some mountains or doing some intervals. Uh, I do lots of running, I do swimming, uh, the roller skiing and some bicycling. I also work out in the gym here. That's perfect for me doing technique training and the heavy lifting as the flipping tires, the climbing ropes, because we got those obstacles in the race, in the obstacle course race. So uh, when I go back to Norway, I will do the rest of the preparation for the final OCR competitions in the fall and then the world championship. So I'm really looking forward to that and yeah, it'll be great.